In this video, we're going to use the solver feature of Excel to solve a typical allocation of resources transportation type of problem involving crackers being made at four different plants and being shipped to six different distribution centers. The plants are A, B, C, and D. The distribution centers are one through six. The capacities of each plant uh, are on the right. 10 million cases can be made at plant A, 21 million at B, 18 million at C, and 14 million at D. The distribution centers have a certain demand. These are all in millions, 15.2 million cases for distribution center one, all the way down to just 12.1 million at distribution center six. What we need to find out is several things. How should we ship our crackers is the main thing. How many should we ship from B, say, to distribution center two? Uh, two needs 8.7 million. B can produce 21 million. So in essence, B could ship everything uh, that distribution center two needs. But is that the best idea? There also is this uh, constraint that B has to make at least 15 million cases per year, kind of a labor uh, decision. And we're going to estimate how much does that cost the company to agree to that. We're also going to make a quick change on what if distribution centers 1 and 6 have overestimated their demands? How would that change how we'd ship our crackers from our plants to our distribution centers? And in the last one, <clears throat> we'll look at labor disputes and the fact that Plant D might have a strike. And if they can't produce as much as they normally would, they have a capacity of 14 million. How would that change how you would ship your crackers? All of this would be quite difficult to calculate by trial and error, but quite easy by some of the linear programming methods, like the simplex method. And Solver has that capacity. So let's move over to Excel and Solver and see what we can do. Here's the same table of costs for one case of crackers going from, say, Plant A to Distribution Center 1. Here's the capacities again in millions, and the demands in millions. In the bottom table is the same table with, with no numbers in there. You can put whatever numbers you want. You could ship 5 million cases from Plant A to Distribution Center 2. You could ship another 4 million from A to Distribution Center 3. There are functions in here that add up the total amount that you've made at Plant A and the total amount that Distribution Center 2, 3, or even 1 is received. Let's have 3. <clears throat> and you can see that the total has changed. So there are functions that add those up, just simple sum functions. You'll notice that the cost has been changing too. And that was most easily done by a function in Excel called sum product. Otherwise, we'd have to work really hard at this. We'd have to take the 5 million times the dollar 41, the 3 million times the 93 cents per case, add those up. <clears throat> Instead, we did that all in one function called sum product. Let me delete that and recreate it with you. Equals sum product. Highlight all the costs in the first table comma, highlight all the shipping numbers that you're going to have in the second table, and the word sum product tells you what it's going to do. It's going to take the product of corresponding columns and rows, for instance, second row, second column, times second row, second column, that would be 93 cents times 3, which actually represents 3 million, does that for each of those and then sums them, sums all those different products. And that's an easy way to keep track of the total cost. 